What's up everyone? Welcome to episode 4 of the series Silver to Gold Upgrades. And uh, I'm loving the reception I've been getting on this series. It's been going really well. I'm glad that I'm making it because it's informing you guys on what's going to happen in FIFA 15. Obviously, as you know, silver players in FIFA 14 get upgraded. These are the players who've gotten upgraded from silver to gold, and I'm going to go through them all. Starting off in this episode with Romulo, the uh, former Brazilian uh, centre midfielder for Hellas Verona, who's now a gold centre midfielder for Juventus. Uh, although he's Italian now, I didn't put that into the picture, I only just found out he is. But looking at his stats, he's got great pace, 82 pace, 86 stamina, 75 standing tackles, 79 reactions, and 76 shot power. Last season he got 6 goals and 8 assists in 29 matches, and he looks to have a really nice card as a box-to-box -box centre midfielder, perhaps in a 4-1-2-1-2 with the uh, centre midfielders only. But yeah, he's going to be a fantastic little player next season. Next up, we've got Michi Batshuayi. Uh, this guy had an amazing year last year, scoring 28 goals and 5 assists in 38 matches. <clears throat> he's got 83 finishing, 84 agility, 73 long shots and 78 shot power. And just looking at his card, he looks a really li nice little player. He's obviously just signed for Marseille from Standard Liège. And uh, he's a 76 rated player, got a plus 5 upgrade. Uh, he's got great dribbling uh, for someone of his size, and uh, he's also got good heading, good shooting, and good pace. So he's going to be a really nice all-rounder to perhaps start off the game with, if you want someone who you can link to uh, French League and uh, Belgian players. Next up, we've got Dali Blint, the uh, Holland star for the national team, and he had another great season last year. He got In the league, he only got one goal and one assist from a deep-lying position. But the World Cup is really where he's shown. He got three assists and one goal in seven matches. And uh, one of those assists was a beautiful cross in to, um, I believe it was Robin Van Persie for the first goal against Spain. Uh, and yet he's only got 55 crossing, which is a bit disappointing. But he does have 81 short passing, 81 reactions, and 86 stamina, making him a really nice center defensive midfielder, having been moved there from left back. So hopefully he'll work out uh, really nicely into some uh, Eredivisie team. Next up, Daryl Jan Matt. This is another Dutch fullback who used to play for Feyenoord. Now he's just signed for Newcastle United. He's got a boost in pace from 73 to 76, and uh, he's got some nice other stats. Although his passing's gone down, his defending and heading has gone up. He's got 86 stamina and 76 aggression, and he's also six foot one, so he'll be good at defending corners for you. Uh, whenever you need him. He got two goals and five assists in 30 matches last season and at the World Cup he got two assists in five matches uh, although he didn't play the round of 16 or the quarterfinals and he was only a substitute in the third place playoff match but he still looks like a good little player for the start of next season. Finally we've got the younger brother of Eden Hazard, Mr. Thorgan Hazard. He had an unreal season last year. He got 14 goals and 17 assists in 39 matches uh, which means he contributed a total of 31 go uh, goals in the season, which is incredible. Uh, he's got 81 vision, which is his key stat. 76 long shots is also useful, and 75 positioning means he's going to be in the right place at the right time. And he got a huge upgrade to his shooting and uh, a good upgrade to his passing. But not much else has really changed. Dribbling's gone up by one, but that's basically it. Although he's been moved from left mid to centre attacking mid, and he's signed in the Bundesliga for Borussia Mönchengladbach which makes him a great little player. But that's the end of the episode, guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed uh, listening to me talk about the silver players who are going to be gold next year. These were all the non-rares uh, non becoming non-rares that I believe that they'll become non-rares. But I hope you've enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you have, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.